Hey guys, I'm here in Ginza and I want to show you how to find an interesting kind of architectural photo hidden literally in plain sight at one of the busiest crossings in the world here. Hey guys, Lucas from iExplore here. Uh, I'm in Ginza and what I want to shoot today is a bit of an architectural photo here, right here in the crossing. Um, there's lots of people distracted by the really cool concept car behind me, but what I want to show you is a little bit hidden, but once you see it, you realize it's right there in plain sight. So just follow me over here. All right, so now from here, if we look up, we'll realize that this is actually a really cool building. And more than that, if we frame it just right, we can get a really dramatic shot here by including a sort of a little bonus element, something that you typically would think is an obstruction in the shot. But real quick with the settings first. So I'm on F8, uh, 1 over 1,250 for my shutter speed, which is quite fast because it's very bright up there, and 100 ISO. Okay, so I'm gonna sort of stand right here in the sweet spot, frame it up like this, and then maybe a vertical shot too, portrait orientation, all right? And you see what we're trying to do is get this dramatic shot of the building, and surprise, also this lamp that happens to be above us. The lamp is typically something that one might think is getting in the way, but with an interesting frame and the right uh, you know, exposure settings, you can get a really awesome shot. Okay. In this case, you know what, that's a little bit underexposed when I look at my histogram. So I'm going to actually speed up the shutter a little bit, an 800th of a second, just to or slow it down rather, give it a little more light. Let's take another shot there, much better. Okay. Now, this is a shot that works with a, with a little camera like a Ricoh, you can do it on an SLR. But you know what, you can also do this with a phone. Just get my phone out here, check it out. So very easy kind of shot to do with your phone. If all you have is a phone to shoot, you know, no problem. And the phone should handle the uh, exposure straight out of the box. I don't think I have to mess with anything. A little bit underexposed, but you can see very similar results to the Rico. So great idea for all you phone shooters out there when you're shooting around in the city. All right, so there you go. A little hidden spot right here in a you know, very busy crossing. Lots of people around, lots of tourists taking photos. No one's looking up, no one's taking a photo of that. So, you know, the, the trick is look around, look up, and, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a camera or a phone, you can get an interesting photo, you know, as long as you get out there and challenge your eye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe, please hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments or any ideas for future videos, please let us know below in the comments.